Now, before I talk about overview of infertility in Malaysia, let us understand what is the meaning of fertility. Okay, fertility, there's two types of fertility. One is a primary infertility, whereby a couple has been trying for more than a year without uh, using any contraception, or secondary fertility, whereby a couple has got fertility or has been uh, pregnant before, whether a life pregnancy or miscarriage, but has been trying for that for, uh, for one year without success. So knowing this, now, if you're talking about infertility, wherever you go, whether in Malaysia or outside this country, out of every six couple or seven couple, one will have fertility problem. If you convert this into percentage, that will be around 14 to 15 percent. Now, by and large, 90 percent of this couple would get pregnant by one year. So we are left with this percentage of one year we, who will come to see a doctor. And out of this 14 percent, the remainder, I mean, probably around uh, 8 percent will get pregnant by just a simple counseling and reassurance. So we are left with the remaining 8% and these are the 8% who will come to see doctors for further treatment. Okay, as far as causes is concerned, now we have to divide into the male factor and the female factor. Now, as far as male factor is concerned, I think it is affecting about 30% of the couple who come to see us. Now, when we talk about male factor, it is mostly the sperm factor, meaning some of them come to see us without, without any sperm at all. There are some who come with sperm but of poor quality. So these are the ones who need treatment. Okay, this is for the male factor. Now for female factor, the most common cause of female factor is an ovulatory, meaning there is difficulty for the egg to be released from the ovary into the fallopian tube. Now, and the most common cause for this is a condition called uh, polycystic ovary, whereby a person with polycystic ovary, by and large, they, are, they tend to be obese, they have irregular period, and they have difficulty to conceive. Uh, other causes include tubal factor, which could be contributed by infection, which causes the tube to be blocked, or it can be due to uh, some medical condition called endometriosis. Now, there are also other causes which are very uh, rare, but 30% of these causes is what we call unexplained, meaning we have done all the investigation to the men, we have done all the investigation to the women, but we still could not fi find the cause. So 30% of them ca is being categorized as unexplained. As far as treatment is concerned, we divide into a, a simple basic treatment or a more complicated treatment which can go to the extent of in vitro fertilization or IVF. Now before we talk about treatment, we have to investigate this couple first. Generally, what we tell them is to do the general measures, healthy lifestyle. For men, we tell them not to smoke. For women, they must start taking folic acid. This is the general measure we tell them to take first. Now, following that, we need to do some basic investigation. And there are only four basic investigations to be done to know the most common cause of fertility. Number one, we have to take the blood of the lady on day two, and the level of this blood will tell us the quality of the egg the woman has got. Secondly is, we do a fallopian tube check, meaning we want to know whether the fallopian tube is patent or blocked. By doing a procedure, it's a simple x-ray procedure called HSG. There are also couple which, which requires a more advanced investigation, which requires surgery through a telescope, which we call laparoscopic, to check the fallopian tube. Number three, we do a basic scan to check for the uterus and ovary. And for the men, we do a semen analysis. So once we know the causes, then we'll go for the treatment. Now, there are three types of treatment. The first treatment involves uh, ovulation stimulation, meaning we give them a simple oral medications to stimulate the egg to, to grow and to come out through, from the ovary into the fallopian tube. 
And this med medicine is very cheap, very simple, and it can be given to women who has got normal fallopian tube, normal uh, ovary and uterus, and have got normal sperm. So this type of couple, usually we'll, before we go to the second step, we'll, we'll, we'll start with the ovulation induction first. The second treatment is what we call in utero, uh, sorry, uh, intrauterine insemination or IUI. This treatment involves giving injection to the woman, meaning to stimulate the ovary until it reaches certain size. Once it reaches certain size, we'll, uh, we'll advise the husband to come to see us and we'll we we'll collect the sperm from the husband, we wash the sperm, we only take the good quality sperm and inject into the uh, uterus. And finally, the third option is to go for in vitro fertilization, whereby it involves giving injection to the woman for probably between four to six weeks to stimulate the eggs. We want to get not too many eggs and not too little eggs. So roughly, at, during each cycle, we collect probably about eight to 10 eggs. Okay, once we got the eggs, we will uh, an what call this, uh, analyze the egg in the lab and we will inject the egg with sperm using procedure called XC. Now, once it is fertilized, after two days or three days, we take back these uh, embryos into the womb. So, this is IVF.